On ELAN, the data link layer uses the MAC address of the destination machine to communicate and send data. The ART protocol is responsible for resolving IP address to MAC address. ARP protocol does that using the ARP request and ARP reply messages. The ART protocol resides between layer 2 and layer 3. There are different types of ARP messages, such as the gratuitous ARP messages, which are tests for duplicate IP addresses on a LAN the computer uses while it's booting up. We have as well dynamic ARP and inverse ARP, but we'll just focus on the ARP request and ARP reply messages. So how does an ARP packet look like? In this datagram, we have pretty straightforward fields such as the sender hardware address, the target hardware address, which are the MAC addresses. We have as well sender protocol address and target protocol address, which are the IP addresses. We also have the hardware type, which is one for Ethernet. Let's go to the next slide here. So these are the types of the hardware. If it's one, it's Ethernet and so on, so forth. We have as well the protocol type that we will see once we do the demo in Wireshark. We have as well the protocol length, which is the length in bytes of the logical address, which is usually four bytes for an IP and, and the hardware length, which is as well length in bytes for the hardware address or the MAC address, and which is usually six bytes for Ethernet. And the operation code, let's go directly to the list here. It is one if it's an ARP request, it is two if it's an ARP reply, and so on and so forth for the rest of the message types. Now let's go directly to Wireshark and see how the packet look like. If you want to follow with me, just open the ARP.pcapng, and I'll just select a random packet here. This is a request packet. The opcode is one. Here is the hardware type, which is ethernet. And you can see the sizes in the status bar below. The protocol type, it's usually two bytes and this stands for IPv4. The hardware size or the MAC address size is six bytes. The protocol size or the IP address size is four bytes here. And as you can see below, these are the sender MAC addresses, which is asking for the target MAC address of this IP. So this is a request. I'll just check the next packet, which is the reply. It has the same format, same fields, but the reply comes with the target MAC address. If you double click on any package here, you'll be able to hover over any of the fields and see the length in bytes in the packet bytes view.